Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Makakwadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Greetings and salutations to you, Akim. A potent testimony of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. There is a full blown civil war in Ethiopia right now. It's been going on for the last several months. It's only heightening, and it's as if you know, you know, you know the mainstream media is acting, acting like nothing is taking place, like nothing is taking place. Meanwhile, there is a full blown civil war in Ethiopia, which of course can lead to destabilizing Egypt further destabilizing the Sudan and Somalia. But it's not a big deal. Libya is already in shambles. The Middle East is, in, is on fire. This is biblical prophecy. If you, if you didn't have the spiritual inclination to tell, I'll say it for you. This is biblical prophecy. Once again, the Bible undefeated. So this is, some, this is an article from Al Jazeera. Ethiopia descending into widening civil war. The UN, this is what the UN is saying. All right. It says, um, UN political chief Rosemary De Carlo has said the risk of Ethiopia descending into widening civil war is only too Real. Woo! If I'm not mistaken, the president of Ethiopia has um, just called uh, basically six months of, of martial law uh, because of the Tigri forces are, are descending on the capital as we speak. But Jake is still, you know, playing games, eating snacks, you know, talking about the Sabbath is on a Saturday, not calling the name of the Lord, having cookouts and being cute. While the prophecies are popping like pop. You should be teaching the prophecies if you're a prophet. If you want to claim and proclaim to have that title, then you should be professing prophecy. And this indeed is prophecy. We're a watchman. You know? Not to talk about marriage and talk all about all this other weird stuff, man. All right? Now, of course, that's a part of it, but it's, it's priorities. That's not the gospel. The gospel, the, well, the scripture says the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy. That's in the book of Revelations. So that's what you should be pushing. All right? Now, this other weird stuff. Okay? It says, adding that the political uh, repercussions of intensifying violence in the wider region would be immense. Well, that's exactly what I just said. I agree. It says, compounding the many crises besetting the Horn of Africa. Wow. And that is true. You know, and these, and these people act like, I actually didn't even read this article prior to, and they literally just said exactly what I said. It says, addressing the Security Council on Monday, the UN Under Secretary General for Political and Peacebuilding... <laughs> Peace building affairs said, despite much speculation on how the Ethiopian crisis will unfold in the coming weeks, in a country of over goodness sake, that's a lot of 110 million people. 110 million people. I did not know Ethiopian was that populous. Wow. Goodness sake, that's a lot of people. It says, over 90 different ethnic groups in 80 languages. Wow. No one can predict what continued fighting and insecurity will bring. Hmm. I can tell you what it'll bring. It's going to bring these damn Ethiopians to Jehoshaphat. How about that? He said no one can tell. No, the prophecies can tell. The, oh, pardon me. The prophets can tell because we abide in the prophecy. Let's get it. Let's go to some prophecy. It's the book of Matthews. It's our Lord and Savior, Yahweh who gave us this game, by the way. Matthews chapter 24. 
Um, mm, let's start at verse 3. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what should be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Verse 4. And Yahweh shall answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name. Louis Farrakhan, Elijah Muhammad, um, Cesare Borger, um, all these other bug guys talking about they, they're the Christ. You know, acting like they're going to be a savior for the nation of Israel. Okay? It says, um, and shall deceive many. It says, and ye shall see, and pardon me, and ye shall hear of wars. Let's just scroll through some of this news. Let's just scroll through some. U.S. Embassy in Yemen raided, staffers held hostage. And you people acting like this is just some normal. This is not normal. And ye shall hear, look, Israel to target enemies with beams instead of missiles. And Yahweh Shah is going to beam you Israelis in the powder in Jehoshaphat, by the way. Yahweh Shapat. Wars and rumors of wars. What do we what do we see? What do we see on the on, you know? China warns against Cold War mentality. See, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. So it's going to happen. These people are trying to prevent. No, it's going to take place. That's prophecy. Deal with it. All right? It says, For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. But nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And how many times are we hearing about an earthquake here, an earthquake there? Pestilences. A pestilence is a disease outbreak. Does that sound familiar to you? <laughs> it says all these things are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up. To be afflicted. And that affliction is our testimony. So we're going to have to give a testimony for Yahweh Shah's sake. For the gospel. It says, and, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Right. Everybody's going to, everybody hates us. Everybody's especially going to hate us um, when they see our powers, man. You know, when they see us actually coming up against this system and having powers to counteract the enemy, we start healing the dead, you know, and, you know, or resurrecting the dead and healing the sick and, you know, flying and, you know, walking on water and these magnificent works. Man, these nations are going to be in great fear. They're going to fear us, man. They're going to be like, yo, what is this? They're going to say we're doing witchcraft. <laughs> And we're gonna be saying, no, nah, this all praises go all all glory goes to Yah by Shem Shah, by the way. And they're gonna say, He does miracles by Belzebub, the chief of the demons. Just like the Pharisees said to Yahweh Shah when he was doing miracles, they're gonna say he's doing it by the devil. Because they were haters and they were lame and they were assholes. And ultimately, in this in this last um carnation on this side, they're gonna be losers. Because they're gonna die by thermonuclear missiles. And all everybody else who has those any type of like mind of you know hate or envy towards the Lord's elect and his doctrine. He that is not with me is against me. You know, that's scriptures. He that is not with me indeed is against me. And he that gathereth not scattereth abroad. Alright. That's um because we're still on you Ethiopians. This is biblical prophecy that the Lord is about to touch you, Hamites. 
you hermetic um, demons are about to be touched. All right. This is a. Uh, Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 12. Matter of fact, ooh, verse 11. Ooh. It says, And Yahweh will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, meaning the powers. The gods are talking about the lords, the rulers, the presidents, the leaders, you know, the authorities, the religious figures, the sheikhs, the monks, the ayatollah. Huh? Huh? It says, he will famish all the gods of the earth and man shall worship him, everyone from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. All the heathen going to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is the top gunner at the end of the day. Verse 12. Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. All right? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is going to slay you Ethiopians. That's biblical prophecy. Why? Because you participate in the transatlantic slave trade in, in, the, in the enslavement of the Israelites. Why? Because you talking about you were Israelites, you damn Hamites talking about you Israelites when you know damn well you not you not Israelites. Got these um what is it called Far Farsi Jews or whatever the Ethiopian Jews. Those are those are Hamites. The same way the um Zidonians in the ancient world act like they were Jews when they weren't. The same way the the white man today talk about he a Jew, so called white man. And he's not. There's so many nations and so many sects of heathens that at, and throughout history, they've become so-called Jews. The, the so-called white man, not the first person to become, be a so-called Jew. You had the Zidonians, who were so-called Jews, which were some Africans that acted like they were us in the ancient world. But you still have a lot of them today. The, the Ethiopian Jews, they're so-called Jews. They're not real. They're Jewish. They're not really Jews. They're Hamites. And you got the Edomites today, the so-called white man talking about he's a Jew. When he's an Edomite from the tribe of Amalek, he's a devil. But talking about he's the son of God, please. And then, and then you Christians who fucking, you damn, you asshole Christians who have a problem with what we're saying. Well, first of all, these so-called Jews don't even believe in the Messiah. But you cool with them. You don't got no problem with them, but they don't believe in the Messiah. No, you know what? You guys are hypocrites, and you know it. That is, that is clearly hypocritical. But I digress. I'm going to wrap it up in Revelations, since we're talking about the so-calls. Since we're talking about the uh, the little cap, big caps. Mm-hmm. If you can catch the lingo. Indeed, they do main. Well, we we're, we're gonna talk about the Kushites who talk about they Jews, because they be wearing them little caps too. But it's a big cap. They wear little caps, but what they saying is a big cap. Well, you so you can understand. It's a lie. It's a a cap. It's something. It's a covering. If you if you can receive it, you know, it's a cloak. It's a cloak of maliciousness. All right. It's a dece it's a deceptive tool. This is the book of Revelation, chapter three, verse nine. It says, "Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, which that's what those Ethiopian Jews they say they are Jews. It says, and are not, but they don't descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They descend from Noah, Ham, and Cush. They're Cushites." All right, it says, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. And that's what we have coming before, um, for us in the very, very near futures. Um, um, Akim, you know, those of the stock of Jacob. Now, you do have people in Ethiopia, Ethiopia that are Israelites, like some of the Habashai, you know, but that those niggas who and it, those niggas was talking about a Farsi Jews those are Kushites over there in um, Israel right now talking about their Jews those are Hamites alright so with that we give all praises honor glory and worship 
Tihawa, Bashim, Yavshai, Bashim Kakadash, you know. The bonds to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. You know, and it, it is the spirit that, that bears witness. You will have Israelites in Ethiopia, like I said, you know, during the Persian Empire, um, in, I believe, north or southern Egypt, like the literal southern Egypt. It was a, a a garrison, a military garrison during the Persian Empire that was manned by Hebrews. So you have you have Israelites in the, in that vicinity. But the point is, you Kushites, you you, you ethnic Ethiopians, are about to be cut off through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, according to biblical prophecy. All right. So once again, giving our praises, under glory, worship to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Shalom and keep the faith.